Hello. Welcome to FM Corner. I'm Danny Kinch, your host. I am the Director of Relationship Management for Windy City. And today's topic is going to be a little different. It's called Common Courtesy. Having been on both sides of the fence, first as a facility manager for most of my career, and now working for a service company where one of my main roles is to engage and look for new customers. This topic means a lot. And I wanna speak about it in a couple of ways. Everybody's busy. So busy all of a sudden doesn't necessarily become an excuse. But what you could do with people is have the common courtesy to let them know when they email you or they ask for an opportunity to talk to you as a company or so on. If you're very happy with the service companies that you currently use, that's great. That's absolutely wonderful that you feel good about who you have. What's so wrong about telling the service company that you like who you have and you have no needs at this time? That's okay. Salesperson has a job, and a salesperson has a job just like you do as a facility manager. They're out there to grow sales and sell their company, and they have a job. Let them do their job. They're asking questions. Give them an answer. If you're very happy with who you use, let them know that. Hey, I'm very comfortable with the companies I'm using right now. I don't, I don't have any needs whatsoever. If they're professional, their answer is probably going to be great. Would you mind if I check back in six months? Okay. And they hold to the six-month rule. They follow up. Six months might have changed. You might suddenly have a need for somebody. But what happens when you never respond? And they email, and they're just asking. And you never answer, period. Well, they have a list, and they're supposed to contact customers and you didn't say no, you didn't say yes, you didn't say anything because you didn't take the time to send one line email and let them know, so they're going to continue to call you or email you or request because they're looking for an answer. Take a minute. Obviously, people will be saying, yeah, I know, but there I get all these cold calls and I get all these people and so on. Yes, some people don't handle it right. They send you a LinkedIn invitation. You accept their LinkedIn invitation, and within seven seconds of getting the invitation, you get a page full of description for them. That's not right. So I understand that piece. If I link in with you and you agree to accept, it's probably three or four weeks before I ever reach out. And all I do is ask an opportunity to send you information. And you can say no. No is not a bad word in this business. You say no all the time. A guy comes and says, do you want me to put a new roof on your house? You go, no, I don't need one. But if a company calls and says, I want to talk to you about sales, seeing if you have any opportunity in our company, and they get stone silence. What's the difference? Tell them no. No's okay. No allows you to move on with what you need to do and no allows them to move on to the next customer who may or may not have an interest in what it is that they're selling. But take the time. Having been on the other side as a facility manager for years, I talked to anybody that called. It wasn't long conversations. If I didn't have a need for their thing that they were selling or whatever it was, I told them. But I let them know so that they could move on to other customers where they had a better opportunity to sell to them or something. Or I would give them a timeline to call back. Now, if I said six months and a week later they called me and said, do you have anything? That kind of ended their opportunities because they didn't take the time to listen. But most people are professional in this business and they will honor what you tell them. They actually appreciate the fact that you let them know. And yes, we're all busy. But it takes seconds to send an email that says, thanks for your information. I don't have any needs at that time. Call me back in six months or whatever. Thank you. And that's it. That's all you got to do. You could can that and you just send it and forward it. 
It's okay. They got an answer. It's okay to say no. What's not okay is to just go silent on people and never answer. And your your excuse is always, I'm too busy. Everybody's busy. That same salesperson has to make 20 calls today, maybe. But they're going to keep trying. But you got to give them an answer. Take a second and let them know. Do the responsible thing. You never know. Someday that person that's on the other side could be you. I'm one of those people. And I'm thankful every day that I tried to take the time to return people's call, send them a short email, let them know something. Give them some sort of answer so they can move on with their business. Because now I'm just asking to reach out. I don't force it. I don't do any of that. I'm asking. Just let me know. Give me the same kind of respect that I would give to you and and give it back. Salespeople are just doing a job. And what happens if the one person that you didn't respond to had the greatest idea in the world and you missed out and you had to explain that because I never called them back? That wouldn't be good. May never happen. Then again, it might. They may have that one great idea or that thing that helps helps your company. Or maybe doesn't help them today, but helps them down the road. And people will remember if you, did you ever respond? Did you let them know? Yes, I told them there were no opportunities. So on, you know, let them know. That's all they need. So this topic, again, having seen it from both sides of the fence as a facility manager and now being on the service side, take 20 seconds. Send them a note, let them know yes or no, or let them send you information, and then I got it, I'll be in touch, or I saw your information, I don't have any needs right now, maybe three months, six months, whatever it is, set a timeline, and then move on about your business. It didn't take a second. It's the same thing you would want if someday you were doing that particular job. It's just people doing their job. Give them respect. That's it for today. That's my topic. Uh, Look forward to seeing you again on the next installment of FM Corner.